This is Lisbon, a major economic centre. More than half a million people call the Portuguese capital home. Now there's a new resident who's not only making friends, he's turning heads. This is Casper, the friendly robot. Casper is a robot on a mission, patrolling the hospital hallways, trying to entertain patients and hoping for smiles in return. It's very interesting to see that people react to the robot as if the robot uh, was a colleague, a friend. So in this sense, the robot is completely integrated in, in the environment. The people here tend to recognize the robot as one of their own. Companion robots were first introduced as a way for the elderly to fight off loneliness. Now the program's been expanded to include pediatric patients at a Lisbon hospital. In a typical day, the robot wakes up at 10.30 in the morning then uh, moves out of its docking station where it charges the battery overnight and uh, wanders around the environment, greets the people that it encounters. Some of the people is recognized because we ask them to wear special tags that can be recognized by the robot. Casper's programmed to chat with the children and hopefully take their minds off their medical challenges. Cancer, it's a, it's a very difficult um, disease. Um, well, all diseases are, are difficult, but this one, I think, has um, a special place in the minds of people. Uh, so why not try to help them? We want to have a service to commemorate life. And everything that could make uh, made a, a surprise, a laugh, uh, an interaction, a new thing for us is enriching life. Studies show that the happier these kids are, the faster they recover from treatment. Project organizers want to see kids establish the same type of relationship with Casper they could have with a pet or even a friend. Plans are already in the works to take Casper far beyond what he's currently capable of. <laughs> I'm a Star Wars guy. Okay, so my goal would be to have something like Star Wars. I will never be satisfied with the number of skills that the robot uh, will have. So I, I'm expecting that in, let's say, five years max, you will have these kinds of robots. Um, these kinds of robots will be very common in a number of places. As we begin to look forward to 2020, organizers want to expand Casper and the social robot program and place the next generation in hospitals across Europe.